Hey everyone, my name is Haley. Welcome to another Biteable tutorial. Today, we're talking about everyone's favorite time suck, social media. I'll run you through some best practice tips for making engaging social media content and show you how to edit a video using the Biteable Video Maker. If you're not already using video in your social media strategy, you're in the minority. 61% of marketers see video as an important or extremely important part of an effective marketing strategy, and it's easy to see why. YouTube is the second most popular website in the world, surpassed only by Google, and according to Quartz, video has long been predicted to completely take over Facebook. A recent Biteable survey found 66% of marketers avoid video because they believe it takes too long. So today, I'm going to show you that making a video takes about the same amount of time as making a piece of toast. But before we get into that, these are my top tips for making a social media video that stops scrollers in their tracks. My first tip is use a template. A lot of social media content is formulaic and the winning formula has been perfected by the video template nerds here at Biteable. We've finessed the timing and theme for different types of social video content, so if you're ever in doubt, grab a template as your starting point. My second tip is be consistent. Your social media video should look like it's part of your brand family. Incorporating your brand colors and logo will make your video look slick, but it'll also help your audience with brand recognition. My third tip is mix it up. Try out different video formats to keep your content fresh. Different formats to experiment with include listicles, promotional videos, FAQs, interviews, and a look behind the scenes. These are just a few. The list is infinite. Play around with different formats until you find the perfect combination. And finally, one pro tip for making a ripper social media video is know your audience. Make it your mission to discover everything about your audience and adapt your videos to suit them. Okay, enough theory, let's make a video. So here we are on the Biteable template page. From here, I can scroll down and you can see the categories on the left-hand side. I'll just go ahead and select social media, which pulls up all of our social media templates. Once we're on this page, you can hover your mouse over any of the templates to preview it and then click edit video now once you're ready to go. So this is where we'll be able to make all of our changes to the template. So I'm going to start off by deleting this last line of text here and then editing this to reflect the giveaway that we're going to be hosting, which is giving away a free Biteable subscription. This is just hypothetical. And then we'll give away or we'll write the reason for our giveaway, which is in this case to celebrate 20,000 followers. So we'll just pop that text in here. And then I'm going to spread that text box out a little bit more just so our text doesn't get separated like that. And then once that's spread out, you can see it pop back up and I'll just go ahead and center it within the circle. Now jumping over to the next scene, this will mostly stay the same. I'm just going to change one line of text here. We didn't really tally the votes. We just picked a random winner online using an online software. So I'll pop that in here, randomly picked a winner. And now I'm going to enter the winner's name, which in this case will be Sarah Evans. And then you could put the winner's handle here. Popping over to this next scene, we'll just go ahead and change that name again to our winner. And then here I'm going to upload a photo, which would likely be their social media photo. I've just used a stock photo since this is a hypothetical giveaway but I can go ahead and drag that down so she's more centered. Perfect. And the last slide is our call to action. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the colors in this template. So we're gonna pop into the style editor. This lets you make bulk changes across multiple scenes at once. So I'm going to select all the scenes that have a yellow background and we're gonna change that background color. Nothing too crazy, we'll just make it a lighter yellow. Perfect, that's looking good. You can see it changed all of those scenes. Now I'm going to pick the scenes with a pink background color. And we can play around with the different colors that you want to change it to here. I picked that first color. It didn't really look that good with the rest of the templates. Make it darker. I think I'm just going to end up doing the same yellow color as the other scenes, which is this one here. 
Now you can see it's a bit hard to see that text on the scene that has Sarah's face on it. So I'm going to change that text color using the text property box here. And we'll change the secondary text color too so you can see that as well. Perfect, so I love the way this looks now. I can pop back over to the edit tab and watch my finished video. Now that my video is ready to go, I can hit export and start the build process. From there, I'll be able to copy a link to my video, share it to my social channels, or download it directly to my device once it's finished building. Video is the lifeblood of social media, but making social video doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming. Sign up for Biteable today and get started with our finessed library of social media templates. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Bye.